and Action 10 News at 5. I'm Brenda Matuti. I'm Andy Lascano. This week, people saw new fencing added to a large part of the construction over there on Staple Street by Ray High School. You're covering and, this story. Yes, and construction has been going on since December of 2018, and we have the latest. New fencing lines part of Staple Street from Castores down to Texan Trail. Back in December 2018, there were reports of at least two vehicles driving into trenches that had been made due to the construction. As far as I know, we haven't received any additional reports on that. I do know that we did put up the fencing and some barricades to um, encourage residents not to cut through those gaps. But the city says that's not why the fences are there. It's been a good transition and I think residents are really um, paying attention to what's going on around there. Melanie Lowry with the city's engineering services says the new stretch of fencing was installed because crews are getting ready to pour new concrete this week. AEP will be removing about a dozen existing poles and the remainder of the work will be wrapping up. ADA compliant ramps as well as new sidewalks, pavement markings and lighting signals. Lowry says the project is ahead of schedule. We are currently 90% complete. We are looking to complete the project by the end of February. So we won't be seeing those fences much longer. Some good news. The city says all of the construction on Staples should be done by February 28.